Hey guys, Teamman28 here, and I'm starting on the title screen today because I wanted, before we start officially, I want to go to the settings and link the game to the Nintendo Switch Online app so we can get some new items. Oh, Tom Nook. Hello, Teamman28. This is where I take on important requests related to settings. The requests I accept here are very serious ones, so children should get help from a parent or guardian. Now, what settings would you like to talk about today? Nook link settings. Nook link settings? Of course, of course. Then, are you ready to connect to the internet and get set up with Nook link access? Yes, I am. Yes, please. Yes, yes, setup is complete. Please try accessing it under the Game Specific Services section of the Nintendo Switch Online app. I hope you continue to enjoy life on Test Isle. So now, here I am on my phone in the Nintendo Switch Online app, and it says, Welcome, Nook Link. Nook Link is a service that can help you enjoy Animal Crossing New Horizons even more. Things you can do. You can scan and use custom designs made in past Animal Crossing games in Animal Crossing New Horizons, send chat messages from your smart device to the game. So, oh yeah, so we, it's almost like the Nook phone, passport, designs, best friends, keyboard settings. Oh, that's cool. I wonder how I get the pocket camp furniture then. Oh, I'm not sure, but anyway, I am going to start like normal. Hello there everyone! Right now on Tess Isle, it's 3.36 p.m. on Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope our guest is able to see what it is that makes Tess Isle such a special place. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Hey guys, Teamman28 here. Welcome to Day 42 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yesterday, we destroyed a bridge, did some more landscaping, and met Flick. Today, I want to continue developing Tess Isle and meet the camper that Isabel is talking about. But first, I want to see what's in our mail. Oh, we got something from Dodo Airlines. Hey Team Man 28 just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoy this bit of custom Dal merch. Nifty, right? Your pals at Dodo Airlines. Okay, Brofina. Team Man 28 I just have to tell you about this fab dream I had. In it, I became a world famous fashion designer. I was so popular that celebrities fought over me. Do you think this dream foretold my future? Say yes. A girl can dream. Brofina. Nook Shopping, KK Oasis. Oh, Flick. Team Man 28, Patron of the Arts. Behold, my piece inspired by the Tiger Beetle is at last finished. I worked tireless tirelessly to capture its likeness for you, and I hope you enjoy it. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. Flick, the Anthropod Artist. So, oh, Dal Slippers, that's kind of cool. KK Oasis, and then... Tiger Beetle model. Okay, let's bring that in the house and see what it how it all looks. Okay, so there's KK Oasis. Oh, this beach towel I got from a balloon and it looks really good, so I'm gonna put that on the beach somewhere. Oh, there's a tiger beetle. Yeah, kind of looks bad up <laughs> up close. Well, it looks real, so it looks good, but that's going into storage. Dow slippers. Oh, those look cool too. I'll put those in storage so I can wear them. And what's this? Oh, the beach towel. Okay, let's go out and see what there is today.
Oh, there's our money tree, so I'm gonna chop this down. We have so many trees on this island anyway. So, losing a few money trees won't really matter. So, all the apple trees seem to be growing. The orange. Oh, there's a rock here. I'm gonna have to break that. Let's go talk to Leaf. Oh, hey, Atima28. Isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? And shrubs, too. You're so lucky because today I'm selling the beloved Azalea. And it's currently in season, so you can enjoy those magical blossoms as soon as you plant this little friend. I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. I'm here to shop. Oh yes, I'd love to introduce you to all the little seeds and saplings I've got with me today. Yes, she has holly. Okay, that's what I wanted. A perfectly wonderful selection, and they're available in bulk. How many would you like? I'll take five. Ah, thank you! Is there anything else? Um, let's see what kind of flowers they have. I'm pretty sure I have all the other colors. Yep. You gotta do what makes you happy. I'd be here if you change your mind. Let's see, do we have any hybrids? Um, just looks like a red. Oh yeah, those are all my white hyacinths I got yesterday from another town. Doesn't look like it. Except for... I can't tell if that's pink or red. I think it's red. I guess we should, we should talk to Colton. He's always over here. Hey, uh, I was just thinking about you. What's the latest? Hey, can I run my life story past you real quick? I'm working on my autobiography. Oh, another time then. Let's check in with some of our villagers, Brofina. Oh, she's crafting! I'm so sorry, I was engrossed in my crafting project. Would you like to know what I'm crafting? Yes, please. A wooden chair, I think I have that. Yep, I do. Sure do. That's fine. I noticed we're getting a lot of repeats with the villagers, but then the message bottle, we're getting new ones. I don't know if that's just a coincidence, or... If that's actually... Like, intentional. Let's check for the message bottle down here. Nope. Oh, there's Nan. Hi, Maximum Kid. Still time to make this great day. What's this? Oh, I think this was the DIY recipe from yesterday. I must have left it there. Fossil. Check in with Eloise, too. Oh, oops, nope. She's sleeping? <laughs> so pretty. You're too kind. <laughs> oh, no, I must have dozed off. Tell me I wasn't talking in my sleep. I hope I didn't say anything too embarrassing, Toot. My stars, was I asleep? I hope I wasn't drilling on myself. I must have looked positively ridiculous. I guess she wants to sleep. Afternoon nap. I feel that way sometimes, Eloise. So let's check out the campsite. Wow, I actually really like how those cedar trees look behind it. I thought it would look too far away, but no, they look good. Unfortunately, whoever it is won't be able to move in because they don't have any open slots. Alright, I've got a card. Quackle, if this was a TV show, the music would get really dramatic right now. And the camera would push in real close to my face and I'd look at you and say all serious. Which suit? Hard, diamond, spade, or club? Do you, do you think this card is printed on it? See? Dramatic. Anywho, answer me. Um, let's go with heart. Oh, oops. And let's see what we got. It's a club. Oh my gosh, you got it. Oh, good thing I didn't choose hearts. Sea globe. Yes, okay. Blech, I won't lose next time. Treat my sea globe super good. Okay, Quackle? 
When it comes to being outdoors, I usually go glamping because rig camping isn't glam enough. If my camping isn't glam, then I usually revamp my, um, plan. Sorry, I lost the rhythm there, Quackle. Okay, she's nice, but... I don't need... Not someone I'm desperate to get on my island. And I can't get anyone anyway, right now. Let's see what the sea glove looks like. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Oh, and there's a message bottle. Dear mysterious stranger, I did a DIY and got the stuff wrong, so I made this on accident. Man, I tell you, I'm all accidents today. I could keep it just for me, but I like sharing fun stuff. If you make it, scream, I made it! The DIY cube who die. Golden dung beetle? What the heck? I thought that's an animal, not a <laughs> DIY project. Okay. Don't know if I'd want that on my house, but not bad. Oh, here's a fossil. Oh, we have 10,000 too. Wow, we're going to be not rich, but... Oh, we got to check turnip prices. I can't forget to do that. At least I only got an orange. Nope. Darn, wow. Not getting very good luck now with all the fossils. Or not fossils, flowers. So, last night I moved the street lamp because I thought it looked pretty good there. So let's see what it would look like if I put a holly start. I hope they grow. I think they will. I don't know. I kind of like this. Um, I might want to see it now. I don't know. Be cool if I could round this out, but I think it looks decent the way it is. Oh, there's flow. Yo, 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 Maximum! Feeling psyched, Cha? I got gotta work extra hard to get hyped up when the weather's like this, but don't worry, I got this. Oh, yeah, we gotta check. Is our bridge gone? It is. So now, I think, I don't know if I'll do it today, but I want to terraform so we get more land so it goes down so this path can go straight for a little while. And then I can move Nook's Cranny down a few spots. But I might wait and see if I even like this circle, how it turns out. And then I could put, oh no, I was thinking about putting another path down here the seating area and everything, but I don't know. Let's check in with Evil Sisters. Oh, Dom's in here. He wants to talk to Sable too, I guess. Yo, Maximum, you looking for a new workout clothes too? Let's talk. The only reason I ever wear clothes is to highlight my muscles and stay warm and not get sunburned. <laughs> Cloudy weather always leaves me less motivated, makes it hard to get all my work done, but sometimes I fight the gloom by only using the brightest colors I can find. Well, that was new dialogue. The dinner apron. Eh, uh, no. Oh, this isn't bad, I might get that. Oh, finally, some pants that I don't hate. I think I'm gonna get these. Oh, the gray might be fine. What about the white? Oh, they're all decent. Um, I think I'll get the gray. That works well, I think.
Yep, I think that's all today. I do need to change my outfit. I think I'm gonna do that later today, if I remember. Now, let's go check turnip prices. Yeah, I, I, this looks so awkward right now, but I wanted to eventually, like I said, move it up over here. So to the left, maybe like, mm, I don't know, three spots and up or and down a couple or two or three. One thirty-five. Ooh, that's a tough decision. Um, I'll probably check with some people later, and if they don't have anything better, I might. I'll probably just sell most of mine. Oh, I hate the color of this, but I like the idea. System kitchen. One hundred thirty thousand bells. So I guess the last item on display is always super expensive. Cause that's what it seems like. Um, let's go check out our turnips, see if we get finally have a fly on one of them, or on the rotted one. No, I don't see anything. Don't see any fossils, I'll have to check for those quick. Actually, they're probably on the upper part. How much pocket space do I have? None. Okay. Um, I'll go assess these, I guess. Even though I don't have the last one. some fossils. Probably already have them all. Yep, okay. So I'm going to go, I think I'm going to set the beach towel on the beach, which makes sense. And then I need to drop some stuff off at my house. Or I was thinking about it too, if I wanted to center this, like, center it so a bridge would be, well let's see how many spots over it would be. So it would be right here, it would go down, so where this apple tree is would be the end. So centering it would be... moving it over... So if I moved everything over to, let's hypothetically say, this would be, the circle would be on the very edge of the Able Sisters. And then I would have to destroy the incline and move it over two spots. But then that would make everything even out. I actually think I might end up doing that. Um, yeah, and then that would 
help solve the question, what am I going to do with this area over here? So I would terraform it so the incline could go back a few. And then maybe I wouldn't even have to terraform this. Well, I would a little bit, but not too much. So, if it demolition fee is only 10,000. Oh gosh, I don't have much pocket space, so I'm going to sell these. And then actually I think I'm just going to start doing that, preparing. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's much easier than doing a bunch of terraforming and making it bigger, because I like the shape of it is now down there. Before I do this though, I think I'm going to actually start like paths over here, like putting laying down the area, the paths for the little stone area where I'm going to put the fountain and everything. So I'm going to move all these trees because if it doesn't look how I want it, no point in spending all those bells and moving everything. So I'm going to save all these fruit trees for sure, and then I think I'll chop down the others. Oh, I keep going over to where the bridge would be. trees are actually over there so I can put that right here and then destroy this rock and put a peach tree here or an orange tree I mean oh it was the money rock Oh, I should have checked. Oh well. Not much I can do now. I'm also going to lay this beach towel out. Not necessarily permanently here, but to lay it on the beach for now. I just really like how the river is like already, well this part of land's already basically symmetrical so I don't really want to mess with that. Bill better not be complaining now that there's too many trees because I'm losing half of them. I also want to check if this is even a big enough space for what I'm planning on doing. So now let's open up Island Designer. Start construction. So 
so let's see where would the bridge be actually if I wanted I could only move it by one space because it won't be symmetrical um, maybe I'll actually go out one more waterscaping just one more so it is symmetrical Yeah, that actually looks decent, and then fill it in everything over here so it, I can make it diagonal. Yeah, that's not bad, and then just have to fix the other side now. I didn't want to... oh no. I didn't want to do too much terraforming, because over here, it's already really close to the plaza, so I don't want to destroy too much over here. What do I need to destroy is that? I think that's too wide. Yeah, I think that actually looks fine, and that's better, I want to say. Maybe destroy that. So then, actually, I don't even know if there's enough room for a fountain over here. In my idea for a little plaza area. So, I actually might just put a path up here, leading up to the shopping district. And I can move everything over one, still, so it's more symmetrical. Um, so here comes the construction part of everything. get those oranges and that way if they do add more shops we'll actually have more room then to put it to put them however many there will be Time to expand everything this way, one. So the new one will be right here after the incline gets destroyed. So, let's destroy this. Add one right here. Actually, what would the dirt look like then right here? I can still round it, can I? Yeah. There, and that's pretty much it, actually. I could put a fountain in the middle instead, but I kind of like the roundabout idea. It's more unique. 
And then I can put a, the fountain somewhere else with a little seating area. So let's plant the stuff back. I wonder if it'd be better to place the spruce tree farther back. Back one. Then I could see what's going on in front. But then I guess we wouldn't be able to see the path as well. Yeah, and then I can put a brick bridge or something over here that connects it. But wow, I think that's a lot better. Oh, I need to round the edges. Can't forget to do that. Yeah, good thing I tested this, or else it would have been all that construction and found out I couldn't even have enough room for what I was going for. Maybe eventually I will decide that I'd rather have a fountain here, but then I could... Actually, why don't I just test that now? Did I eat the fruit? Yeah. I'm not gonna have enough room, so I'm gonna drop this street lamp over here for now. I'm gonna grab the fountain, but I also wanna talk to Tomnik about destroying that incline so I can relocate it tomorrow. It's going to be expensive to repay it, but I think it's for the better of the island eventually in the future. Check the nook stop so we don't forget again like a few days ago. Um, nook shopping. Kick it, oh yeah, I don't think I have that. So let's talk to Tom Nook. Um, let's talk infrastructure. About bridges and inclines. Let's demolish something. We're just demolishing everything, but... Um, the brick staircase. It just looks so much nicer on the map that everything's centered now. I don't know. I might be like too much of a perfectionist, but... Yep. Oh darn it, I forgot. I hit the wrong button again. Infrastructure. Bridge is inclined. Demolish. Brick staircase. Demolish, demolish. Yep, message received loud and clear. I'll start the paperwork and it'll be gone by tomorrow. Let's look at the max map, speaking of that. So yeah, that... I just think that looks a lot better. And then maybe I can... Actually, maybe I could... When I move Nook's Cranny up, I might add more cliff... Forward? I don't know. Maybe, just so it's more straight. 
Anyway, let's check out what the fountain looks like here. I would cover up the bottom with brick. Um... Oh, I like how that looks though, too. Oh, maybe not this tile. This tile doesn't look good. What about the stone? I don't think... Eh. We'll have to see. I don't think I'm gonna like this. I could be wrong. I might really like this, but... I'm already not really feeling good vibes from this. Yeah, I think it looks better with brick. Oh, what if I did terracotta? For some of it. Actually, wouldn't even be seen hardly. Yeah, I think I'll just go with brick. Looks best that way. Okay, now I'm gonna try the fountain again. See how that looks, but I'm thinking I'm gonna end up doing the roundabout. I think the roundabout would just look better here. The fountain doesn't look bad. But... Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the roundabout. I think it's more unique and... I don't know. Just might look a little better here get some greenery in the shopping district. So all that moving for nothing, but no, I'm, when I choose, I want it, to, no, um, I want to choose something and make sure it looks good before I decide it finally, so it's a good thing I went over that. I might not like the street lamp here. Like, it's not bad. But I just don't like... I don't know. It might just be me, but I think it looks a little odd when it's off-centered with a tree next to it. But I think it looks pretty good for now. So now let's start working on the construction up here. Which will just basically be moving the path over to... Actually, one spot now. Okay, so now that everything's out of the way, time to just move the path, so I'm gonna erase... Oh no, I want it there. Oh, that one flower needs to be moved, I think. Yeah.
there. That looks better. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna just take away this path while I'm have it out. Cause this won't be here in a few days. Oh wait, I want to test. Can I put paths leading up? No, I can't. Even though it's nooks, it's upgraded. That's fine. I'm just curious. So now, ooh, you know, I kind of want to do some waterscaping quick to make this just go out a little more. Still looks natural, to make it still look natural, but just so it doesn't go up for a few more slots. Oh, there's a present. Oh, it fell in the water. Darn. Anyway, now I can... I'm gonna make this look natural now, so... Oh gosh, this thing is so finicky whenever I try to do something like not where I want it at all, like that. Actually, that one I kind of needed it like that, but... I'm gonna just extend this and see how far I can go with it. Straight. I don't want it to stay like straight the whole time because then it'll just look like my island's too um, created and not natural enough. But I kind of want it to have a stay straight for a little while because Nook's Cranny, I'm thinking it's going to be right over here. Uh, I just don't know what I'm gonna put behind Nook's Cranny. I might just fill in the cliff. And maybe I can put the path. It probably won't even let me put it there because the waterfall. But it could be like this. I'll have to move the trees. Have any fruit on me? No. Um, I can chop these down too. Except the pear tree, I'll keep that one, I think. Actually, it's a pear tree, I don't need another one. And Isabel did tell me I have too many trees, so I guess my axe broke.
Might as well dig up these stumps and see if my shovel breaks while I'm at it. How many spots is this away? Two. Yeah, I'm two spots away from the waterfall. It should let me put a bridge there. around this corner. Craft. Actually, I'm just gonna go to the resident services to craft my axe because I'm gonna go talk to Tom Nook about building a new bridge and see if he'll let me. Craft. Where's the axe? He claps whenever I build something. Sit down, or can I only do one piece of um, construction at a time? About bridges and incline. Yeah, oh, his hands are full because he can only do one thing at a time. That's fine. We've already done so much today anyway. So I'm gonna chop down that tree, finish this path up, and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. And I think I'll be honest, I don't like how close this one is to the river, so I think I'm gonna make it turn one spot earlier. Oh no, not that. I just hope that'd be enough room for next cranny. That would actually be perfect almost, I think. Let's see, how many spaces wide is Nook's Cranny? One, two, three, four, oops, seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that would be like perfect in is Able Sisters one spot off. Eh, kind of, close enough. Wow. Yeah, I like that. I think that's gonna make my island feel much more, I don't know, not so random. Cause I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of random with Mix Cranny over here. And then that way I can maybe add more cliff, maybe not. I kind of like how it is here though. And there's nothing else below. But I could add like some seating with benches and or some chairs, tables and chairs. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Wrap up construction. Yep, I'm done. So, I think that wraps it up for another day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. 
We continued developing Tessile, linked the game to the Nintendo Switch Online app, and met our camper, Pate. Tomorrow is May Day, so I want to go to the May Day Deserted Island and see what that entails. So, thank you for watching, and consider liking and subscribing for much more on Animal Crossing New Horizons and everything else Nintendo. See you all tomorrow.